Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today, we discuss brands that are made specifically for men 5 and under, what to look for when you buy classic clothing, as well as do's and don'ts for shorter men. <laughs> So why does this matter? Basically, one third of the male population is five foot eight or under, but the clothing available on the market is usually tailored for men that are taller, and so the proportions are off, and it's not flattering to the silhouette of a shorter man. If you buy something off the rack, you will always have to tailor it. That's true for short men, regular men, and tall men. However, if you are taller or regular, sometimes all you need is to have a dart opened and something tightened, whereas if you're shorter and the jacket is too long, you can just cut it off at the bottom because otherwise the positioning of the pockets is off and it just looks weird. So how do we define a shorter man? Basically, it's about five foot eight to five foot one or five foot zero or 173 centimeters to 153. Sometimes people suggest to start with a kids clothing department of brands like Brooks Brothers because they have an extensive one and they're very classic. The problem is it's designed for kids and not for men and so the size is very different and it's usually off and it's either too big or too short or something is off so it's not recommended to do that. Also you have to consider that kids usually grow very quickly and they grow out of things so you won't find the best materials in that range. Since you're a grown man you also don't want to look like a teenage boy anyways. Therefore we suggest to go with clothes that were specifically designed for shorter men because they take into consideration the proportions, the right length, and anything else that you need to look dapper. A relatively new brand that's affordable and specifically tailored to men 5'8 or under is Silas Jackson. They have shirts starting at $30, and while the quality is not the highest, the fit will be much better than other off the rack brands because they're designed with you in mind. A contender that has been around for a little longer, which is also a little more expensive, is Peter Manning. I think they were one of the first companies that specifically focused on men 5'8 or under, and their jackets are specifically tailored for you. That means off the rack, the jacket has shorter sleeves, the collar is altered, the sleeves are slimmer, and everything is made so it fits you well. Their pants also have a lower rise, so it's more proportional for your body, and the inseams are between 26 and 30 inches, which you can see is specifically made for shorter men. On top of that, they also taper the leg so it's slimmer and more flattering for shorter gentlemen. Another brand to look into is Jimmy Owes from Beverly Hills. It originally started as a custom tailor and it evolved into something that's specifically focused on shorter men. If you're specifically interested in shirts, check out Ash and Anvil, which offer a good selection for shorter men in a moderate price range. One thing that we noticed at Fort Belvedere was that ties were usually made for guys of regular height or big and tall guys. Well, if you get a tie in a regular length and you tie it with a small foreign hand knot, the tie will always be too long, extend beyond your waistband, and it makes you look like Donald Trump. The only option to make the tie shorter is to use a bigger tie knot. That means you have to go with a half Windsor or a full Windsor and automatically your knot gets much bigger. Generally, shorter men have also a smaller head, so all of a sudden the tie knot is not proportional anymore and way too big for your head. Therefore, we decided to design ties specifically for men that are 5 8 or under, that are slimmer in the body, that are shorter, so you can tie a tie knot that pleases your face and you don't have something that extends way beyond your waistband. Most stores out there have a very limited selection of short ties, if they offer them at all. We decided to offer all of our ties in a short length, so you can really choose and get something that flatters you and something that you like. Please take a closer look here at our short tie selection. But that's not all. Fort Belvedere also offers gloves for men with small hands. They made of quality leather such as peccary, lamb napa, and lamb suede. And you can see the selection, the number of colors that are versatile here. If you're sick and tired of socks that are too big and slide down, take a look at this selection here, which is available in small, which is made for men with small feet. Nevertheless, they stay up and they don't bunch up in your shoes. Whenever you buy something, it's really crucial that you look at the length. If something is too long, and it will rarely ever be too short, but if it's too long, stay clear of it because you cannot really alter it so it flatters you. The only exception is that you can hem pants, 
but if you ham it too much, the rise may be too much and it may be cut too wide. So ideally, you want to find something that's as close to your body measurements as possible. One of the trickiest parts to alter is the shoulder. If the shoulders extend past your natural shoulder by more than a quarter inch, I'd stay clear of them because alterations cost will be really high and usually the garment doesn't look very neat afterwards. In terms of sleeves, you want to make sure that you have a high armhole so you have a great range of movement. You want to have trim sleeves, but not too slim because otherwise your range of movement is limited. You also want to make sure that your sleeves aren't too wide. And to learn more about the topic, please check out our sleeve length guide video here. In terms of colors, there's basically no limit. If you're in a business environment, go with darker colors, but you can also evolve into browns and greens. But when it comes to patterns, you wanna stay clear of huge patterns because they make you look small and short and you want to avoid that. So rather than a bold stripe that is spaced with two inches, go for something that's spaced at half an inch. If you wanna go with a check such as a Prince of Wales check or another check, make sure to get it small because it will make you look taller than you are. Overall, small patterns are your friend because they emphasize your height. When it comes to accessories, it's probably best to keep it simple and clean in the look because as a short man, you always wanna stand out by looking dapper. If you have a bull tie in pink and green, it just can look garish and it's not very sophisticated anymore. So I suggest to start out Go with ties that are easy to combine and versatile and classic. And to learn more, please check out our 12 essential tie videos every man should have. In terms of alterations, always be prepared to pay for them and make sure to have enough money left over so you can afford proper alterations. Alternatively, you can go with made-to-measure clothing because then it's designed for you from the get-go. However, there may be limitations because made-to-measure patterns are stock patterns that are just modified and scaled all together. To learn more about that, please check out our video about the difference between ready-to-wear, bespoke, and made-to-measure. Sometimes you may have the option to get a separate jacket size and a separate pant size that may really help if your body is not proportional. Of course, the holy grail is bespoke, but it's quite expensive. Though if you can afford it and you're a shorter man, it's definitely the way to go. Sometimes made to measure can be less expensive than off the rack plus alterations. So consider that option. Since fit is particularly important to you, I suggest you know your own measurements, you know whether one shoulder is more sloped than the other, and you know everything that can help you to achieve a perfect fit. Most people never do that, but it's very important that you measure both of your arms and both of your legs because most people just have a slightly different length and it's slightly off and if you get the same measurement for either sleeve or pant leg the fit will be off my right arm is definitely a little shorter than my left one if you go the made to measure route especially online made to measure make sure to send them pictures of your posture and maybe something else that you're wearing from all angles front back side half side half back that way they can get a much better idea of what you look like and how they have to compensate for it when they make your garment. So last but not least, let's talk about short men's classic clothing, do's and don'ts. Don't see being short as a disadvantage in life. Many great and famous men were short. Winston Churchill, Pablo Picasso, Humphrey Bogart, Martin Luther King Jr. They all were confident, they were well-dressed and they made an impact in life. For modern day men, Look at Aaron Marino from Alpha M or Brock McGough from The Modest Men. They've had a huge impact on men around the world with their confidence and with their style and they keep helping them and their height doesn't matter at all. Rule number one, do focus on fit. It's the most important element and even if you're shorter and you're well-dressed, you'll always stand out more than a tall guy or a regular guy who's a slob. Don't wear bold patterns because they make you look smaller and they're not flattering. Instead, do wear streamlined outfits that elongate their height. That also means that you want a proportional length of your jacket. So the back of your collar to the end of your jacket should be the same distance as the bottom of your jacket to the hem of your trousers. Don't wear horizontal stripes because they make you look wider than you are. And when you're a shorter guy, you don't want to look short and fat. Instead, do wear slim vertical stripes with a spacing of up to a quarter inch, maybe half an inch at the most, but it will help you to look tall 
from the vertical lines and also because of the spacing, because it's closer together. Don't wear large accessories such as super wide ties, big tie knots, huge watches or necklaces and earrings that are just too big and bold because otherwise they make you look smaller and it's just an unfavorable look. Instead, wear watches that are slimmed down and don't extend past your wrist and for a good selection, please check out this guide here. Don't wear really bold shoes or elevator shoes because generally they're not very versatile. Especially with elevator shoes, the quality is usually not on par with other quality men's shoes. To learn more about shoes, please check out our shoe videos here. If you want a little extra height, do wear classic regular shoes and add a little heel lift that gives you some extra height. Last but not least, when you wear something, do wear it with confidence. It's very important, it has an impact on how you're perceived and if you wear a well-fitting suit, you'll always look much better than a well-built guy that is six foot or taller and that's maybe not so well-dressed or where the fit is slightly off. If you enjoyed this video, please sign up for a free email newsletter so you get guides like this right to your inbox. Thank you.